In my opinion, all survival games need a destructible environment. Oh, he stepped on the trap. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to blow up your entire house. Hardcore boss fights. Ow, ow, ow. Almost got one shot. Epic loot. Silver chest. And of course, let's not forget extremely tight pants. Oh my god, those things are skin tight. Oh my god. All jokes aside, Entrouded is really fun. Welcome to episode two. Our journey continues. Okay, charcoal kiln. Space to craft. And then we're going to put this down right here, right out front for now. Boop. And then we can press E to craft for charcoal. Would be wood logs and dirt. Okay. I have wood logs and I have dirt. Lovely. Five minutes to make 15 charcoal. How much charcoal do we need? Ten. And then we just need wood logs, metal scraps. Okay, so let's get a little bit more wood logs so when that's done, we can build the forge. I still don't know what what skill tree I'm going to go up in yet. I mean, I think I'm just going to go probably towards, like, the barbarian route. More than likely. I mean, barbarian seems the way to go. So I'm going mason to start off. We're going to go that route. So we can get bash, shockwave, and heavy specialization. And jump attack. We'll kind of go down this route over here. We're just going to have big hammer and we're going to jump. We're going to go true dwarf. True knight dwarf. I'm going to be the Gimli. The Gimli of Enshrouded. 15 charcoal acquired. Nice. Wood, acid, charcoal, and kiln. I feel like instead of saying plus one, it should tell me what I unlock so I know what to look for. There we go. Grab that. Forge. Craft. I'm putting the forge inside my house because it looks cool. I'm going to put that right there. Nice. And then here, we're able to craft metal sheets with charcoal and metal scraps. I'm just going to put all my metal scraps in here then. Browse recipes, select. So we're going to craft our first metal sheet in two minutes. And then that's going to unlock a whole bunch of more recipes for us. I'm going to deposit my stuff and we're going on an adventure. And then we go into the shroud again. It says I need to enter the elixir well, which it says there's an area here and an area there. That's our current quest, so... Let's go see what's going on. Okay. There's one dude. Hello, dude. Do you want to die? Oh, two dudes. There you go. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Also a dead body here with some more scraps on it. I... I feel like I would slide down that hill and die. So I'm gonna keep going down the road. Um, hmm. Left or right? I'm thinking right. It goes down deeper. Location above. Ooh, look. Big creepy demon gate. Hmm. I like a good creepy demon gate in the morning. I'm also a little scared. Um, I don't have a grapple for that yet. A nice little potion. A book. Oh my god. I read... Oh my Jesus, okay, there's a lot of enemies here. I might have to use a little bit of magic. And then we have some enshrouded drinks right here, so... As our enshrouded timer goes down... Oh, these are level threes. Also an archer. Hard to dodge an archer shot. Okay, I didn't mean to hit that one as well. I'm gonna use my range for now. Alright. Good riddance. Oh my Jesus, what was that? You guys over here? You're the ones shooting me with things? They are shooting me with things. Okay, can I roll, please? I'm out of stamina. Oh, gosh. Bandage, 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 bandage. Ow. No, no. Okay. Well. I don't... What just blew up next to me? Hello, blacksmith. Yeah. Um. That didn't go well. I should be able to glide back down to my stuff. I don't know how this is going to go. But that's where we died right there. And I have a wingsuit. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to wait for my stamina. Waiting. And... Here we go. 
Oh, I didn't make it as far as I thought I was, but I made it pretty far. I'm going to jump right here too. Wingsuit. Oh, nice. And I'm back at my crap. Thank you. Take all. Beautiful. I'm um, going to bandage up real quick because I'm a little low on HP and I'm going to have to take out those guys that just took me out. Hello, sir. Here we go. Get dodged. I got to try to parry. It's just the stamina is so bad. When you hit your shield, it removes stamina. All right. Well, magic. Okay. Magic. Magic. I think I'm dead again. Magic. 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 All right. Well, it looks like we're using magic for these guys. I'm going to hit a health pot. There we go. More magic. Magic. So magic doesn't use any stamina at all? What does it use? Do I have mana? No? Okay. Well... Looks like I'm going to use magic for a little bit. What am I doing here? Return beacons replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Stand near them and you should feel better. Okay, so that's just a proximity thing. What am I looking for here? Location reach. That's all it wanted me to do is just reach here? Oh, okay. I see. It wants me to go down. Okay. Um... I'm concerned, and scared, and confused, but I'm just going to keep going down into the creepy dungeon. Um, hmm. Hello? Did someone here order Chinese food? I thought, I mean, the, the, the GPS for the DoorDash order sent me here. Hello? I'm just a wee hobbit in a big world, please. I'm so scared. Is that like lava? I don't know. Do I have any food on me? Some berries. Some mushrooms. Just try to get my max HP up a little bit there. I don't know what that red squidgy guy is, but it's... it's... Oh, Jesus. That's a little more than a red squidgy guy. His name is Fell Thunderbite. Are you gonna bite me with thunder, dude? You're gonna bite me with something. I'm gonna keep headshotting him. That seems to be working. Nope. No kicks for you. Okay. Wait for my stam. Wait for my stam. Wait for my stam. I have a shroud survival flask that I could use real quick. If the shroud starts getting a little too deep on me. That's a shroud root, it says. God, rolling uses so much stam, dude. Ow. No more rolling. Magic. 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 Ow, ow, ow. Almost got one shot. Hit the pot. Hit the pot. Thank you. All right. He did. <sighs> Holy Jesus. Ooh. What is that? A bronze sword? Don't mind if I do. 14 damage versus 11. It looks like it's got some cutting bonuses and stuff if we were to go up in swords. And he left a hole where he exploded. What do I do with this squidgy thing? Destroy it with a felling axe. Like, a hatchet? Boom. Okay, so we get a skill point off of clearing elixirs. I see now. Oh my god. Alright, don't walk near the bubbly guys. They blow up on you. Is there something up here? Nope, nope. Okay. Slip and slide. That's what's up there. Some crates. I feel like there should be a chest down here, you know? 
something like that. Oh wait, the shrouding and cleared, and look, a chest. I knew it. Ice bolts. We can break the pots, like in Zelda. Okay, yeah, the shroud disappeared, so once we take out the little shroud root, the shroud can no longer fart into the air. And there's no longer any shroud. Wow. Would you look at that? I need better armor, and I need to mine up some more metal and stuff, so I can actually have decent armor. Ooh! More stuff. Shepherd staff, a potent staff capable of guiding those who would otherwise be without protection. Staffs can cast spells and spell charges and mana. Equip spell charges to cast. I'll go with the bronze sword for now. How do we get out of here? Oh, we gotta climb. Climb from right here. Ugh. 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 I think I put the shroud core in here. Upgrade, altar. There we go, shroud core. Upgrade. Boop. I don't know what that does. It looks like it increased the building area. So now I have a bit more space. My, my base was backed up to like right here and then that upgrade brought it all the way out to here. Wow. That's not bad. We got a bit more space. Here we go. Oop. And that should make some charcoal. And now we have these metal sheets. I don't know what the metal sheets are used for, but they're used for something. What else hey. can this guy make for me? Let's see. Let's fix that up. Nails. Okay, maybe I should just have him make some nails real quick. A felling axe, so that's a better axe. Better pickaxe. Okay, so these are metal, like scrap metal pickaxe and hatchet. We should do that. A better shield. One-handed club. Rising fighter set. Ooh, animal fur and metal sheets. And resin. Fur armor set. So it's physical resistance versus magical resistance. I'm just not sure why you would go for the fur over this first. Because I have animal fur and resin. I'm going to make that helmet real quick. Oh, we're out of metal scraps. All right, well, I guess we need to explore because I need metal scraps. I'm going to go fight some more stuff. I'm going to drop off some weapons that I'm not going to use, though. I like the scythe, but it's not better than the bronze sword that I found. All right, the game wants me to go over here now, so we're going to do that. I need to look for metal scraps wherever I can find those so I can start working on the good metal armor. And I want to get my two-handed hammer going. I'm trying to be Gimli. I'm trying to be the Gimli of Enshrouded. Oh, 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 okay. All right, we're starting right here. I meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. What are you, just a rock? Yep. Is there like metal scrap rocks or we just have to find metal scrap? I'm curious. Onwards and upwards, into the journey beyond. The game wants me over here. It wants me to go take out another tree, another evil tree. Hello, is there any evil trees over here? Oh no, this is the camp. I remember this from the beta. Oh, this place is difficult. Let's try to do some stealth. Maybe I like the stealth. Maybe I, I, just, I just don't know. Maybe I'm just not, you know? Maybe I just haven't experienced the stealth yet. Ow. That dog did not give a crap about my stealth, though. Probably because I haven't showered in a while. That might be why. Alright, let's see. Is this an entrance over here? Look, yep. Look, crouching bushes. These are crouching bushes, if I've ever seen any. You crouch in these and they can't see you. That guy looks mean and evil. Double scythe man. Are you going to stop right there? Okay, and there's an archer up top. Okay, he's stopping. He's just going to turn around as soon as I get close to him, isn't he? Oh, no, he's going to keep walking. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going that way. Oh, no, he's got a friend right there. Maybe we can still stealth kill him. Okay. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> do they know I went in here? Oh, they do. Oh, he stepped on the trap. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to blow up your entire house or, or your entire wall. I mean, maybe I did. Maybe I did mean to. Goodbye, buddy. I think I killed the archer guy with the, uh, the bomb there. See, this is what happens when I stealth chat. 
this is what happens. This is as stealthy as I can get. I don't get any stealthier than that. Oh, archer guy sees me. I'm just gonna hit him with magic. Okay, there's like an invisible wall there. We're out of wooden arrows. Um, well, shit. There we go. I'm getting my magic to work from a certain angle. Come on. I'm just gonna go up there. How do I get up there? Or is he gonna come down? Or he came down. Wait, did he warn his friends? Please tell me he didn't warn your friends. Alright, he warned his stealth friends. Oh god. Alright, he's got like a triple attack. He's gonna do it now. He's gonna... Oh, no, that's a different attack. Alright. We're good, we're good. They drop metal, though, so I definitely want to keep hitting them. Oh, and then I also have water I can drink. That might also give me a buff. Well, let me see. Drink water. There we go. Oh yeah, increase my maximum stamina. I'm at 186% now. So water is definitely one of the things I need to drink. Oh, there's a well right here. Can I grab... I can scoop water out of that. Nice. There's one by my base though, so we're good. Let's see what's in this little... Little hut here. Coming in. Um, more stuff to break. I was so loud. Um, is there a way up there? Yeah, there's a ladder. Okay. And there's like a chunk of something. Can I go in here though? If I break this out of the way? Ooh, secrets. Repair equipment. Oh, there's a repair anvil right here. All items repaired. Huh, okay. Oh, okay. What, did they just lock you down here, dude? You're welcome. I let you out. We're friends now, right? Right? Maybe he didn't want to get let out. Maybe he liked his dark, dingy hole down here. Now he's in dark, dingy hell, so what can you do? Ooh, guarding a chest, are we? With an explosive powder ball. We need to give one of those a try. I'm putting that on my hotbar this instant. Let's go on up here real quick. Just see what's going on. Ooh, look. Another chest. Another grenade. Okay. You can just break everything. And I like that. Huh. Okay. Hand grenade time, yeah? There's two dudes right there. If we get a hand grenade right in the middle. Huh. Oh, it insta-blows up. It's impact nade. Oh, that did a de decent amount, but it said he resisted it. So he might not be weak against hand grenades. <laughs> Magic is very effective, though. See ya, buds. Alright, he dropped his scythe as well. Some scraps. Nice. I put some holes in their floor, but that's no big deal. He'll hire someone to fix that. All good. Gonna kick this open. Another grenade. Oh, there's metal scraps in these bins. We need to break all of them then. Couple of potions. Nice. Don't mind if I do. A little book that I'm not gonna read. Alchemist theories. Wow. There we go. Some resin. Lovely. I need some of that. What's in here? More secrets? Yep. A little secret dunjo. Hello, secret dunjo. Oh, rats! Level three rats. Only one? Okay. I see a chest, though. Gimme. Oh, there's another rat. Grab the rat meat. Just some books. Okay. We just keep scooting. Keep looting, keep scooting. There's a lot more enemies here. I see, like, a little secret cave up top there. 
I want to try to stealth more, but I didn't have a stealth attack on that guy for some reason. I'm going to try to stealth attack this guy. Like I tried the other guy. Maybe I just press E or something? E. F. E. F. Do I have to unlock stealth in order to do it? Seek attack. Deals massive. Yep. I'm going to unlock it just so we have it. Even if I'm not going to go to the stealth route. That's just so nice. That's a good base ability to have no matter what. There we go. Some water. Wood logs. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, look at that. There's like a wall I can blow up. Did that do it? No? Might have to mine my way through? I'm a dwarf. Rock and stone. Uh, 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 uh. Are there more enemies over here? Or what? Doesn't look like an enemy base. But it might be. So I'm going to crouch my way in. I need a lockpick for that. Looks like there's a hole in the roof. So screw the lockpick. I'm just going to glide in. There we go. Who needs lockpicks when you have square suit? Oh, not quite. Oh, actually, there's something I can just climb at the back. You know, my idea was more fun, but this works too. Okay. Some stuff in the attic. Not too shabby. Just some random loot and some things. Ooh, silver chest. Crackling wands. Full backpack. Really? My backpack's already full? Dirt roadblock? Yeah, we're gonna delete that. Open this back up. Yes, give me that, please. We got a better crackling wand now. And that's a fire wand. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Little booklet in here. And they also gave me a lockpick, but my backpack's full. That's a creepy skeleton on the wall. Oh, he sees me. Try a new fire wand out for size. Okay, so he's resisting fire, unfortunately. Just like the other guy was resisting the explosives, so maybe they're just resistance to fire. Gotta try to overpower him. There we go. Not too shabby. More metal scraps. Hell yeah. Just scooch my way in here. Don't mind if I do. More water. Nope. That guy sees me. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Do they jump or something? No, he just... He just gets stuck. Uh, I'm just gonna pull out my... Oh, did he make it up? No, no, no. I'm gonna pull out my other magic wand just because the ice damage was so much better on these guys. Than the fire damage was. See ya, bud. So fire damage is probably better against flesh, and then ice damage is better against, like, metals and armors and things. Good to know, good to know. Backpack is full for what? What can I not grab right here? It's under the ground, I can't even tell. Okay, another silver chest. What is it gonna be? Wolf Snarl Longbow. Nice. That looks a lot better than mine, and it's got magic fire damage if we level up in bows a bit more. But I don't have any arrows, so we're gonna have to craft some of those when we get home. Am I done here? Rookamore. I think I am done here. And then our next objectives are like way out in these areas. I think these are just from reading the books. They tell you different zones to loot and look at. Elixir Wells already good. And then we just have a quest to craft some stuff. I guess we can just go see what's deep in this shroud, but also at the same time, I'm completely overweight and we can just teleport home real quick. I'm gonna put him right here by the blacksmithing stuff. So now that he's summoned by the blacksmithing stuff, now he's got cover, so now I can build my armor. Anything else? And bada bing bada boom. Equip. Look at that. Metal helmet. We have more armor now. Okay, so to do the rest of the Rising Fighter armor set, we need more resin, metal sheets, 
Looks like just a whole bunch of resin and metal sheets. And his 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 audio echoes in here. That's crazy. There we go. Metal scraps. And I had just made some charcoal. So we're going to grab that. Put that there. Go here. Do this. Deep warp. Metal scraps are crafting. And that'll be six metal scraps off of that. But now we have the new axe and the new pickaxe. So we should be able to chop trees quicker and get more resin. Alright, so I'm going to make the pants next. Because that has the next highest resistances. Here we go. Animal fur. And then rising fighter set pants. Boop. You still here? Yeah, I'm still here, mother trucker. You're living in my house. Don't be rude. Oh my god, those things are skin tight. Oh my god. Um, I need a bed. Because I just want to start sleeping through the nights. Bed, plant fiber, torn cloth. Uh, torn cloth, and I got rid of all my plant fiber because I was out of inventory room, so we're going to have to grab a little bit more of that. I'm going to put my bed in this little corner by the window, and then I can sleep. Does it sleep through the night, or does it just give me... Okay, yeah, it's increasing the daytime speed. And then, boom, we didn't gain any HP for that. Why am I not getting any HP for being rested? Shouldn't I just be gaining HP? Do I just have to constantly make bandages to heal up? I guess so. There we go. I got a little bit more metal, so now we can go to this guy. Rising fighter. We can do the chest piece. Now get out. There we go. Equip. Bada bing, bada boom. We got the chest piece. Looking swagged out. Not too bad. Bronze sword. I need to get the better shield, but I'm feeling a little stronger now, and since I slept till daytime, let's go ahead and go for another explore, shall we? gonna head a little deeper. See what we find. I got better armor now, so I should take less damage. We have a lot better food in our tummy, so we have a lot more HP. What's this? An old castle or something? Is this going to be filled with evildoers? Yep, I see one evildoer already. Oh, this is an elixir well, so this is gonna be another boss fight. Level up. I leveled up by finding this place. Little sneak attack. See you later, dude. We got another skill point, though. Let's use it real quick. Skills. I'm trying to go this way. Increases melee damage by 5%. Merciless attack. Oh, God. Did that guy see me? Oh, he sees me now. I hit him with the parry. There we go. There goes half my HP just like that. I gotta like get used to their attacks. It's kind of like Dark Soulsy in the way that you need to figure out kind of like their attack patterns and be able to block them proper. This is all made out of like bronze. Oh God, who's shooting at me? Hello. Um, I want to use my fire wand against these guys. Maybe they look like they would. Okay, he throws bombs. Alright, you're dead. Um, can I break these things? Doesn't look like I can. Unless they take a billion hits. Breaking my pickaxe, but it's not breaking. Okay. Hello? What did you have? Ooh, some scrap arrows. That's nice. More damage. As of before, I was rudely interrupted. I want to go up in my skill tree a little bit. Jump attack. When equipped it with a melee weapon, you can perform a jump which deals 50% more damage in a small blast radius. Hmm. I think we just grabbed some of these early things, like merciless attack. So now if I press E against an enemy, I'm going to mercilessly attack them. Got notifications for your live, but got nothing. You got to make sure they're on on your on your mobile device as well, or whatever you're watching on. I'm gonna try to mercilessly, mercilessly attack this guy. Is there anything I can reset my shroud timer with? Because it's getting pretty low. I'm gonna sneak into this bush. Did you see me? He saw me.
Okay. My merciless, illicitly attack isn't really working. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to overpower. To an enemy you've overpowered. Oh, okay. So I need to hit them enough while they're like blocking and stuff for that to count. I guess that makes sense. Is that just fiber? Why is the plant fiber so huge? Um, I might need to drink my enshrouded potion because I don't have any way to fix it. Okay, I just increased my shroud time, but it doesn't increase your base shroud time. So do I just die now? I need to get out of the shroud. Like, straight up. Um... Oh god. We've been here a little too long. I have 26 seconds to get the heck out or I start dying, I think. I'm gonna bandage, get my max HP up a little bit. I might be able to just get out the way I came in real quick, just to breathe for a sec and then go back in there. I'm about to become enshrouded. Oh no. Run. Quickly. You just die instantly? But we're back to where we passed out. Or we turned around before we passed out. Um, can we, like, go up and get out of the Enshrouded from, like, being at height or something? Dude, the archers have aimbots, like, straight up. It's insane. There we go. Grab that. Go upstairs. Oh! He... Oh! Nope. He fell. Okay. Ooh, a chest. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Mana potion. Ice bolts. There we go. Use a little bit of our magic. I would break all these boxes for all of their stuff, but I only have three more minutes in here, so... Ooh, another chest. Shroud survival flask. That's what I need to drink before I come in. I might have to drink it before I do the boss fight in here. And that's where the boss fight is, right there. Oh no, this is going to reset our enshrouded. Oh my god. So if we just walked into the camp a little bit farther, we would have been good to go. Son of a bee. Okay, but I'm going to drink that flask we just found, nonetheless. Oop, there we go. So now we have seven minute enshrouded time. And we're going to go downstairs and we're going to fight the boss. Um, how many bandages do we have? One. But we have three health pots, so that's fine. We'll use the health pots if we need to. Here we go. Hyping myself up. Ow. Oh, there goes half my HP and one of our health pots. <laughs> Just squirrel suited into a wall real quick. Hello, Mr. Boss. Um... I have to jump off this thing to get to the boss? Huh. Uh, oh. Yep, that's looking like what we're supposed to do. Who shot me in the ass? You? Oh, we dodged that, thank the lord. There we go. Grab all your stuff. Grab all your stuff. Blow up the bomb real quick. Is that going to reach? I don't think so, but we can hit him with an arrow. There we go. See ya. Oh, this might not actually have a boss in it. It might just be a lot of enemies. The last one had a boss. Ow. All right. Is that all you got, mother truckers? Oh, it's not. It's not all I got. All right, he's done. Oh, wow. There's a lot of enemies in here. Ew, 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 ew. What are those? Ew, ew, ew. 
little beetle boys? Oh, they're a little faster than, like, my casts are. It just respawned? Okay. Okay, so there's, like, these... There's, like, these little caves. Okay, I just need to get to the thing and kill it, then, because they're just going to keep respawning. Uh, 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 uh. I'm out of stam. Out of stam. Out of stam. Uh, uh. There we go. <sighs> We're free of this enshrouded hole. There we go. I see a chest up there. A gold chest. Ooh. Life leech chance, 3%. Um, it's a gold. I'm gonna put it on. Okay, or we need to unequip one of these. There we go. So then we need to do that. Boop. And we got a ring of endless life. That's actually kind of nice. 3% chance that we just leech some HP back. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. What else is going on in here? There's gotta be more chests or something. Ew. Oh my god, there's so many of these. What in the... Okay, hand grenade. There we go. That's the way to go with these suckers. Critter parts. Wonder what they're used for. Hand grenades are definitely the way to go, though. Burn them with fire. They die pretty quick, though, to be fair. Um, are these, like, what they're spawning from? Yep, that is what they're spawning from. Can I break that thing? Let me see if I can break their spawner. I can, okay. Lovely. That's good. Um... Some more stuff. I guess we can explore up top a little more now that we killed the... killed the, uh, the thing down here. There shouldn't be any more shroud upstairs anymore. And then hatchet's a lot better for this, yep. Yeah. I'm too busy killing your, your home. Stop it. Oh, pickaxe. Okay, pickaxe. Oh, yeah, pickaxe. That's better. Good luck coming out of there. Silver chest. Ooh. Okay. I do like loot. I do like the loot. There it is. And what does this do? Parry power. I found my dwarf mace. Yes. Dwarf mace acquired. Thing's slow as shit, but I love it. Not too shabby. Wand is broken right now. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why I'm not going wands. So he's overpowered. I press E. Boop. I send him into next week. Nice. Watch out. I'm digging up your hole. No more hole for you. Okay, this one's an indefinite hole. Lovely. Let me out of here. Get me out of this place. Please get me out. I don't want to be here anymore. Pick me up. I'm scared, Mom. Uh, uh. What game is this? Enshrouded. Is it worth it? I think it's more of a... I would say this is more for the hardcore survival fan. If you're just looking for a fun game with survival elements, Pal World. If you're looking for a hardcore survival, this is probably more your more your lane. But I mean, not a bad not a bad little adventure. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I got a big giant dwarf mace now. This is literally the tree that I was gonna go up in with two-handed maces. So I'm glad to have found one.